Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Tony. So I've got a big snowstorm coming here. As a lot of you guys know, we're up here in New Hampshire. So I've got to do some maintenance to my snow blower before the snow comes tonight. I'd rather go through all of it to make sure that everything's, you know, functioning properly. And um, I don't want to get out there in two feet of snow and have something fail if I can help it. <laughs> so a little bit of preventative maintenance. So that said, um, I'm going to show you in this video how to lubricate the um, auger shaft that runs in the front of your machine. And uh, it's pretty easy to do, but there are a couple things along the way that I want to show you uh, what you should do. And um, let's roll into that and I'll show you how to get it done. Okay, so before we begin, a um, couple things I want you guys to do or that you should do. Whenever you're working near the motor, you don't want to get hurt. You don't want it to accidentally fire up, something like that. So make sure you take your key, turn the machine off, remove your key. So what you should also do is, I know the key is removed, and this is like another added uh, safety measure, uh, but pull the boot off the spark plug. That way there, the engine can't get spark if you accidentally rotate the auger and, I don't know, who knows, I mean, some things can cross wire and fire up, you never know. So this happens to be an errands. If you have an old craft or something, it's pretty easy to get at these boots. So take the boot off the spark plug, let it dangle there, and uh, now we should be pretty safe to work up in front of that auger. So to remove the shear pin, to grease the auger, you're going to have to remove the shear pins. Um, this machine only has one on each side. Some may have two or more. So remove those. Should have got a socket. <laughs> oh, come on, get on there. So this one's almost out of there. <laughs> All right, so I'm sick of using wrenches. I'm gonna use my drill. Let's speed this along. So now you should be able to pull the um, shear pin out. Poke it through and inspect it. Make sure that it's okay. This one looks to be fine. It's not broken at all. So you're going to need a grease gun and a grease gun cartridge to go inside. You can get grease at any auto pot store, basically. Or you can get one, you know, at your errands dealer or if you have a Toro at your Toro dealer or something like that. And um, there's a cartridge that goes inside here and you put it back together and you're going to use your grease gun to grease these fittings. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this on the Xerx fitting and you're going to watch for grease coming out of here. Right. Oh, you can see some coming out. So what to do is you want you want to spin the auger to lubricate the inside. And you can see some grease coming out of the holes, that's fine. Just want to make sure you have enough in there. Spin it around. Let's add a little more in. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's kind of too much. So spin the auger again. We'll spin around a few different ways. And you'll, what you'll do is you'll lubricate the inside of the shafts. All right. So wipe off any <coughs> excess grease with the, um, a rag or a paper towel. You have a couple of paper towels here in the shop. 
Let's go like that. And then uh, make sure it's all nice and clean. So to put the shea pin back in, you have to line up those holes. <clears throat> and let me see where they are. So what happened on mine is this uh, shaft slid that way a little bit. So I'm just pressing towards the gearbox to get those holes lined back up. And once I can see the holes, I can put my um, shear pin back in. There it goes, it's right there. All right. All right so I'm going to clean that up. A mess. So, you know what? So take your nut, catch it by hand, and then Grab your ratchet and your wrench, your drill like I've got, or whatever you're using to snug these back up. Like that. I'm going to grab my other wrench. Right. So you want to snug these up. You don't have to make them so tight that they're on there like you don't want to over tighten them yeah so just make sure that they're snug and uh your shear pin is now back in place so when you've done all that put the uh, boot back on your spark plug spark plug wire reattach that <clears throat> that's it you're pretty much done so hope you guys liked the video you know don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video if you liked it and uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I will reply back to you or one of our subscribers. Though. We do it all the time. We want you to be interactive with the channel, have fun, hang out. And uh, if you have a great tip, throw a great tip in as well. We, we post them all the time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.